What's up guys, Derek here from Hooked on Fishing For Real, here to bring you a fishing video tutorial. So now guys, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to create your own chum balls. Um, and just based on all the videos I've seen, I just gathered all that knowledge that I've obtained from watching those videos and I came up with my own uh, method of making my own chum balls. And so basically what I did guys is, uh, first I got a, a five gallon bucket, okay? And I got, um, I got some Perina uh, fish chow. I got that from St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. And uh, I probably used about maybe five cups of this Perina fish chow and I put it in a bucket, okay? And then I started adding um, some water to it. Now the water I got to, it wasn't tap water or fresh water at all. I actually went uh, around, I live right across the street from, from the bay. So I went over there and I, I got a bucket, fresh salt water out of the bay. Now, also on top of that, guys, I got some Mint Hayden uh, fish oil that I put in there. Stir it up a little bit to get that consistency. Now, the consistency I'm trying to go for is like a cookie dough uh, consistency mixture. That way, I can take this, grab it, and put my hand in the bucket, and make some uh, cookie dough balls out of it without it falling apart. And also guys, to add to that mixture, what I got is I went down to Publix. That's right, you heard me, Publix. And I went to their seafood department and I got some uh, Florida wild caught shrimp. Now I had the shell on, so when I came back here to my place, I just deshelled it and then I uh, chopped it up in little chunks. Then I got out my food processor and then I just put, I put all that in my food processor and I ground it up to a really fine ground, like almost like a mashed potato consistency. Okay, then I took that and I put that in the bucket as well. All right, and then I also put um, some oats in there. I got this from Publix also. So all these things that I'm mentioning to you guys, you guys can go down to your local uh, supermarket and get these things and come back to your place and make it. So this is some quick cooking oats here. I got this, I put about uh, five cups of those into the bucket okay so now we got we got the uh, uh, the uh, Perina fish chow in there we got a little bit of the uh, ocean water in there we have some Menhaden fish oil in there and then we added the, um, the uh, shrimp in there okay the minced up shrimp and then I just start stirring it up and stirring it up and then I just kept adding water and adding more water so I can get it to like that cookie dough mixture all right, and I added a little bit more oil too. Um, and what the Menhaden oil does is it just really gives it that fishy like scent and it just drives the fish crazy. I've used chum blocks when I'm out on the water that's ha that has Menhaden oil in it along with other, um, other uh, ingredients and I tell you what, it never let me down, it, it drives fish crazy. So now once I got the consistency that I, that I want, I started making my balls, my chum balls, okay? This will yield probably about maybe a dozen. So I started dipping my hand in the bucket and then um, I just started making about a palm-sized ball and uh, roll them around. And then as you, as you can see here, I'm gonna toss it up in the air and you can see that when it comes back down, it's still staying intact. So that's a good dough ball, guys. That is a very good dough ball. Now, once I got all my chum balls all um, made up, uh, now the next thing to do is I put them in a gallon Ziploc baggie and then I stick them in the freezer. Alright guys, I hope you found this video very helpful. If you did, I would love to hear your comments in the comment section. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel yet, Hooked on Fishing for Real, what you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now while you're sitting there watching this video. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when I post new video content. Alright guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.